a university professor for conflict management and peace building at the University of Haifa. And I'm also the academic advisor of Yivat Chaviva, which is a civil society organization in Israel that uh, does uh, work on dialogue and shared society between communities. I'm a mediator and I have a mediation consultant, consultancy firm. I've been teaching mediation for now 18 years or so and um, I did my PhD in, uh, on mediation and then became a research fellow at uh, University of Harvard and then I became a university professor at Creighton University, a faculty member and returning to Israel, I became a faculty member of the University of Haifa as well in a graduate, international graduate uh, program for peace and conflict management. Um, for my students, mm -hmm. uh, I'm as a, a university professor that teaches graduate degree students, uh, my responsibility is to help develop the next generation of professionals in the field. So this is a an important task. I have students coming from all over the world, Germany included, um, to study peace and conflict management in Israel, which is a hub for these uh, issues. And uh, at Givat Chaviva, I work with municipalities, Jewish and Arab municipalities, and with change engines from the community, both Jews and Arabs, to help develop and promote ideals and capacities, skill building of mediation, conflict resolution, and capacity to work together in order to create a shared society among Jews and Arabs. If it's the academic aspect of things, then I would, uh, in large part of the day, would uh, prepare classes or teach or work with students. Uh, but most of my work currently has to do with uh, uh, work on the ground with various projects that I do uh, through Givat Chaviva, working with municipalities, advancing projects, pushing forward. A large part of my work is to push forward projects, um, work with mayors at times, uh, work with uh, heads of departments in municipalities, help with change engines and from the civic society to support their efforts and initiatives in developing peace and dialogue in, in the area. My motivation is uh, to help um, people overcome uh, fragmentation, both on the interpersonal level and the social level. Returning back to Israel, it was important for me to seek a different livelihood in the Israeli society and to see more uh, communities able to open up to others, to uh, embrace diversity, to develop um, the strength to contain differences without the intimidation and fear that sometimes people and communities have in the face of others. Whenever I see the capacity of people to, uh, to internalize and concretize things that we're discussing, I feel that I did something meaningful beyond words, beyond uh, uh, attempts, to see concrete, actual achievements. For example, mm -hmm. uh, it could be head of a um, financial committee, uh, financial development committee in a municipality telling me, uh, Jewish municipality saying, of course that we're partners, and of course that I need to work with the Arab uh, uh, neighboring community in developing uh, uh, our financial livelihood. I feel very much that that I have achieved something, that mm -hmm. he says it with deep conviction and it's a conviction that is built over time. It's not something that happens within a day, not within, in a week, not even in a year. Two, three years of work got him to that kind of conviction. So this is a special moment, or with students, whenever mm -hmm. st students have their aha moments and deep understanding and profound internalization of some of the themes and ideas that we discuss, I feel that I've achieved something important. Mm -hmm. I think I, in a way, answered it in, uh, by saying that my aspiration and hope is to see people opening up to others, uh, people giving a chance 
to a uh, the ability to live with others in ways that they could not imagine before mm -hmm. that that because of their fear because of their anxieties they shut themselves uh, and shun from the possibility of living together and having a li livelihood with others that that if they are able to give it a chance and 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 and, and, and that, that will be Mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of helping people identify their interests and their shared interests from different groups and different uh, uh, people because it could be on a group level, on a social level, could be in regular mediations when people uh, parties in mediation and a relational approach in which people should try and uh, see their interdependence with others and how they are affected and how they are affecting others uh, that is something that in a more advanced manner trying to help people develop mindfulness and awareness to that program shared society is an ambitious uh, attempt of uh, uh, people from five different countries to come together and develop a network. We live in a world where networks are highly important and we learn together and from each other. And in this program we're trying to help the practitioners and theoreticians come together, both help each other, theoreticians making an effect on the ground, on practitioners' work, NGOs' work, but also gaining a lot from the experience that practitioners have for their academic work and also the learning from one country to another. We have five different countries all dealing with shared society issues, quite uh, harsh issues, severe issues of shared society, if it is Kosovo, former Yugoslavia, or if it is Northern Ireland, still dealing with the issues between Protestants and Catholics, or even the issues with refugees in Germany that require shared society building, needless to say Israel and its uh, difficulties. And we're trying to enforce each other's work in, by, by, by exchanging ideas, conducting research together, um, working on similar issues and hopefully by that making a change. Good question. It's somewhat of a new term. It's a term that we still need to further clarify in order not to repeat some of this old ideas and ideals of coexistence in which we we aspire to allow each uh, a group to live next to each other, side mm -hmm. by side, to coexist next to another. We know now that this is something we cannot suffice with, that beyond that we need to go into a shared living, having a partnership uh, between uh, groups and people, and it should include, include also structural change in which minorities and those who feel deprived and feel that they don't belong and they're alienated from the livelihood on the social level and the policy making on the social level, they ought to feel that they have an effect, that they have an ability uh, to make a change and that their voices are being heard and that structurally uh, reallocation of resources in ways that they are more able uh, uh, to take part in the growth and so on and so forth. So that's what we're trying to do in the Shared Society uh, project. How do I work in Givat Haviva? My work is both the practical work, which is to work with communities, to work with uh, change agents and to help promote the work on the ground but also wearing the academic hat as an academic advisor is to develop uh, um, materials and to develop the scholarship the practical scholarship of the work that we do for example I'm currently writing the Givat Chaviva uh, guidebook for shared society building which is an uh, uh, integration of theory and practice and helping also the, the people that work in Givat Chaviva develop their reflection and professional capacities through the academic ideas that I bring in. <coughs> because there is no other choice and because we see that the world is uh, dominated by fragmentation and fear 
and uh, exclusion and with entrenchment within secured sense of self of groups and of people in ways that at the end of the day does not allow us to have the livelihood and the vividness of a shared world that can deal with the challenges of nowadays of these times and as an Israeli I see no other choice and I hope to see our capacity as Jews and Arabs in Israel to live together and be able to create a sense of social identity, civic social identity of uh, being Israelis in which both Jews and Arabs feel belong, feel comfortable in without the fears and without the uh, exclusion of others. I would like to share maybe my hope and my encouragement to myself. It's part of a reflection that I do with myself, but also to others that we shouldn't, we should evaluate our work on short-term basis, but we shouldn't judge our work on short-term basis. We should have the patience, and we should have the uh, the, the strength to look afar and, and to understand that much of the work that we do will not necessarily bear fruits in next week or even next month or next year and that we have to continue to do this hard work with the understanding that we plant seeds that may bear fruits in many years to come and we should continue to do that finding the inner strength deeper conviction for this kind of work and to bring good to the world.